Remember the April 8 tragedy in Kramatorsk, when over 50 people died in a Ukrainian Tochka U cluster missile strike? Back then, the Sky News reporter could not believe that the Ukrainian military could target its own citizens. It seems as if he hasn't been following the eight-year civil war in Donbass. No shame in that. The West hasn't been paying much attention to it either. I think that is highly, highly unlikely. What you'll see next, however, is the most recent interview of Andrei Bilecki, aka the White Chieftain. A Ukrainian neo-Nazi, the founder of the infamous Azov Battalion, and a former Ukrainian legislator. По-перше, туди інколи долітають українські далекобійні ракети, от, типу точки У, тому я б не ризикував проводити безсмертні полки і тому подібні дійства. Тому та, це провокація, я думаю, що українська армія, якщо вона спробує це провести, здатна дати на цю провокацію адекватну, яскраву відповідь і, можливо, у вас на заставках багато смішних моментів з росіянами і їхньою технікою. Можливо, у нас 9 травня з'явиться ще одне смішне відео. The Immortal Regiment is a yearly parade held in May, not only in former Soviet countries, but also in cities across the world. People whose relatives and loved ones fought in World War II take to the streets with the photos of their brave ancestors. It's an event that embodies the immense gratitude of the current generations for a chance to live in peace, as they honor the valiant heroes of World War II. Certain countries that had strong pro-Nazi sentiments during the war are doing everything to ban the immortal regiments. And now, the Ukrainian nationalists who have embraced different heroes think that hitting civilians with a Tochka U missile during a parade would make for a funny video. Since they are pro-Russian, they must be the lesser people. 